Welcome back to Book Babble. I'm Definitive D, and today I'm going to do my May wrap up. Everything that I finished this month was comic book related. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what I read. At the beginning of the month, for Free Comic Book Day, which is a thing the very first Saturday of May, uh, you can go to your local participating comic book shop and they will give you free comic books. So I had never really read a comic book, but my Trekkie wife, she had read tons. So this was a really great opportunity for me to get into comic books. I got kind of hooked. So the first one I read was Scarlet Spider number 21. I really didn't understand it because it's kind of midway in the series, but as far as I can gather, Peter Parker's dead and there's a guy who like took his DNA and is now the Scarlet Spider. So up next was Guardians of the Galaxy number eight. Uh, this, I just found out they're turning into a movie which comes out in August. So that's pretty cool. There's a little Star Wars kind of feel towards this. So I was really digging it. Um, I would definitely keep reading this series. This next one was kind of weird for me because it blended something from my childhood with something with them, which I was really unfamiliar with. It was DC Universe ma versus Masters of the Universe. Say that three times quickly. Number three, in the very first panel of this one, Superman is dead. So it kind of is a weird place to start, but um, it definitely was something that I might be into. The next one was Avengers World number one. I am really glad in this one they have this really um, awesome uh, kind of chart which shows uh, who everyone is in the Avengers world, which is kind of cool because I kind of flip back and forth being like, who's that guy again? Oh yeah! I didn't realize this was a double book, but uh, we've got Mega Man on this side, and Sonic the Hedgehog on that one. These ones were really great. Rocket Raccoon number one. Um, again, a lot of Star Wars kind of references to it, which I was kind of digging. When we went to the comic book day, I was like, if I can find this one comic book, I will be happy. And luckily I was not disappointed when I found this Uncle Scrooge comic. This one was really great and I was so glad to find it. This one, I almost walked away from uh, Free Comic Book Day without getting this one. Luckily my tricky wife pointed out to me and said, um, what about this one? Isn't this one that you're really super interested in? And of course I was. It is uh, Steam Wars, which is a steampunk kind of version of Star Wars. And it's fantastic. This one I'm definitely going to be checking to see if I can find more of because it's, it's it's just such a brilliant concept. So those are the ones that I got at Free Comic Book Day. So then I picked up a few here and there at the local bookstore, starting with The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the Omnibus Edition. And this baby, you know, it's quite sizable. I mean, you can take a look, it's pretty big. As far as graphic novel goes, like I've never touched one. This one was really interesting because I had seen the movie and now I got to read the comic. So this is Aquaman, the, the new 52, uh, number one. That one, beautifully illustrated, beautiful story. I'm hooked. So the next one is Donald Duck, Trail of the Unicorn. One of Carl Banks' masterpieces. And if you don't know who Carl Banks is, he was a Disney animator who primarily did uh, Donald Duck. This next one I picked up was Uncle Scrooge, Only a Poor Man. And finally, the last thing that I read this month was Asterix and the Picks, which is a beautiful, beautifully written story. So if you haven't heard of Asterix, do yourself a favor, pick up one of these. They're just a fun read. So that's what I read this month. Let me know if you read any of these or what your favorite comic book series is. Because like I said, I'm just new to this. So I'm interested in finding out what else is out there. I hope things are just tickety-boo with you guys. And I'll see you when I see you.